Oh, we've got a spunky little 32 Ford Roadster here. Typical uh, hot rod style. It's got the stance. It's got a two inch chop. It's a Westcott body. Very high quality build. Not a rickety car whatsoever. Go to volocars.com. That's where you can read all about it. Look at pictures top to bottom. That's where you find a price tag on every car along with an easy monthly payment. You also find a buy it now button on every car we have for sale. You're going to want to click that if you see something you really like before someone beats you to it. Now, if you enjoyed the video, subscribe to our YouTube channel, click the bell icon, and you'll be notified as the new ones are posted. But for right now, that top is off. Let's go for a spin. And this car does have a top. It's in the pictures on our website. It's a nice tan canvas convertible top with the framework. Uh, again, two inch chop, but it's a lift off top, but it looks like a convertible, uh, really sharp looking top. So anyway, yeah, it's a Westcott body, 32 full fendered body. It's all fiberglass except for a steel hood uh, and the body works outstanding. Actually, we sold this car uh, uh, two or three years ago and then they just traded the car in they put 2,500 miles on it. It, it had 6,000. Now it has uh, 7,500. They put 1,500 miles on it. And they loved the car. They were very happy with it. It was just time to get something different. But again, this is a high quality build. This is not a, I use the word rickety, thrown together. This is, this is nice. Uh, so this is a rumble seat. We'll open that in a little bit. But absolutely straight. I don't see damage, cracking. Everything fits spot on, beautiful work, all absolutely straight, no issues. Shuts real nicely. All of this is nice and clean. The hood opens from either side. We'll demonstrate that in just a little bit too. But I'm literally not finding any issues. Here's a little, little chip in the paint from opening the hood. And on the front edge right here is a little chip right there. I don't see any rock chips. This is all in really nice shape. And again, the body itself is straight, no issues, fits beautifully. It's painted in a Deltron uh, paint, polished like a mirror, literally. This is like orange glass, has a real fine uh, pinstripe, two different colors of green. It's hand painted on there. This door opens and closes real nicely as well. He did add the chrome ribs onto the running boards, which I think is really sharp. Here's a little touch up right here. And he also put the tires and wheels on. It had some beige painted steel rims. He put the American Racing chrome wheels with BF Goodrich tires. So these are actually pretty darn new and they are 15 inch, obviously much fatter in the back. It's bumperless, but does have the uh, tail lights and turn signals built right into that spreader bar. This is your fuel tank. That's your gas cap right there. It has some nice tinted wing windows, chrome windshield frame. The windshield does fold out, and it looks like it folds down as well. And I like the big 1932 headlights up front. It has Ford script right on the glass lenses. 32 grill shell, same thing up front. It's bumperless, has the turn signals built in to the spreader bar. I just want to confirm these are 15 inch wheels. They are 15 inch wheels, just a much smaller tire. So yeah, nice looking car. Let's open it up. Tell you what, the paint even feels like Teflon. So there's a button inside the car. It's a power uh, trunk release. Uh, this is not going to be the most comfortable place to sit. You can maybe set your grandkids in here, but it is a usable trunk space. I still like that it's a rumble seat. And this is genuine leather upholstery throughout this car. It's done very well. Uh, side panels are done to match the seat, all carpeted. And here's a nice cloth car cover that's included. The hinges are even wrapped. And it does have seat belts, so yeah, the intention is to throw some people in there. So probably the grandkids. The door panels are custom made. They're done real nicely. 
Dash is painted nice and clean. Has a beautiful set of uh, chrome bezels that say Ford right on it with match set of white gauges. Has this nice shelf down below with the stereo. Um, these here are actually cup holders that open up, but it's completely carpeted and boxed underneath there. Kick panels are done to match the door panels. All custom uh, carpet with bound edges. You got an e-brake hidden under this mat right here. And then, yeah, this seat is genuine soft leather. Uh, you got tan seat belts in the front. It's a very comfortable car. There are speakers uh, behind the panels. Then the steering wheel is a beautiful wood polished wheel with the banjo spokes. It's on a tilt column. It's a billet bracket, billet handles. Yeah, nice, nice quality throughout. Tires and wheels are new. So the engine is a reliable Crate GM 350 motor. A uh, crate motor means it, it came fully assembled, new. You just set it in the car. Uh, on top is a polished aluminum intake with a polished uh, Edelbrock carburetor, four-barrel carburetor. It has an HEI ignition system. And you can see it's dressed up with a match set of air cleaner, valve covers, and breathers. It has a set of uh, block hugger headers has a polished aluminum alternator. Looks like the uh, main pulley is aluminum. And it has a walker radiator with an electric fan to keep it cool. And the hood opens from the other side the same way. Uh, there's a lever on each side, or you pull the levers at the same time, you can lift the hood off uh, to work on it as well. Well, we picked a beautiful day to take out the 32 Ford hot rod. That's exactly what this thing is. Drives really smoothly. Now this isn't your modern day Cadillac, but hey, for a hot rod, it drives pretty smooth. Uh, acceleration's real nice. The steering's nice and tight. No complaints here. Horn works on it. Uh, the turn signals work as well. We'll try those up here. Uh, same with the uh, radio even. The radio, we got a CD player with a pretty good sound system. <laughs> Looks like all the, all the gauges are working up on the dash here. Battery gauge works, the fuel gauge, uh, your RPMs and your speedometer. Then you have your oil pressure gauge and your water temperature. Everything's functional here. Uh, turn signal lights up. You got the left and right lights on the dash. It does cancel too. Let's see how this baby does. Gets up to speed, no problem guys. Man, this thing's a blast to drive. Everyone that's coming past us is staring, breaking their necks. Of course, you don't have uh, windshield wipers. You don't want to get caught out on a bad weather day anyway, but this is a beautiful car to drive on a beautiful day. And there's nothing like this feeling. Drive straight as an arrow. There's no shakes in the steering wheel. Uh, the power brakes work very nicely. Actually, they're manual brakes, but they stop very nicely. This thing has a pretty good acceleration on it. I uh, love the sound, love the look. This thing's the whole package. This is way better than those electric cars, that's for sure. Uh, the seat's nice and comfortable. It's a little on the firmer side, but it's cushioned nicely. 
cup holder works. I have my soda bottle right here. It's being held in. Well, yeah, there you have it. So underneath this car is all done too. It's all painted orange, the underbody, uh, the chassis. It's a deuce chassis. So it's all boxed frame with tubular supports. It's also painted gloss orange. It's all smooth. Up front has a drop axle. All the uh, steering and trailing arms, it's all chrome. Uh, in back, it has a uh, box trailing arms with coilover adjustable uh, gas shocks. Nice sounding dual exhaust with polished stainless steel MagnaFlow mufflers. Uh, you look up at the engine, uh, it has a high torque starter. And then it's a turbo 350 automatic transmission with an external oil cooler. It's a Ford rear end that's all painted real nice and smooth and it has a cruising gear. Uh, in it. So going down the highway is no problem, but everything under there is new. It's got four wheel disc brakes, all the brake lines, fuel lines, fuel tank, all of it was new. This is a built car, uh, so it's all new. Go to volocars.com. The salesman can help answer uh, any more questions, including how to get it delivered, how to get it financed. If you enjoy the video, subscribe to our YouTube channel. Click the bell icon to be notified when the new ones are posted. Thanks for watching.